Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité de Leçon A. So I hope you're ready. We'll work on the, the vowels, les voyelles, in this lesson and then we'll see uh, how uh, they behave when we combine them with uh, another letter. So the vowels that we will work on, we, we won't take this uh, Y vowel on purpose, okay? So we'll focus only on A, E, I, O, U. Okay, so remember one more time. A, E, I, O, U. Okay, remember this U is usually can be quite quite tricky uh, for um, English speaking persons, especially the the difference between the U and the U. Okay, but we'll see that a bit later. So if you combine this uh, vowel A with the vowel I, okay, you will get the sound E. So really open E. Okay, and then if you combine it with the the vowel U, then you will get the sound O. O. All right. So well, exactly the same sound as this O vowel here. So it's the same O. Okay, and then if you combine it with the the letter N. In that case, you will get what we call a nasal, so it goes in your uh, nose, and then you get the sound en, en. Okay. Uh, if you listen carefully, well, basically you don't you don't listen or you don't hear. Sorry, uh, any n in uh, my pronunciation, en, en. Okay. Let's see what happens with e. Uh. So e uh, combined with the vowel e will give you the the sound e. So the same sound as we had previously here, okay? So it's the same sound, and it's E, so really open. And now if you combine it with the U, you will get the sound U, U. And if you combine it with N, then you get the sound O. So the same sound as we had when we combine N with A, okay? O, O. All right, so let's see now for E. So for E, obviously, if you get two, uh, two times the same letter, then it, it will be a, a bit longer, so E. Okay, same thing for uh, U, it doesn't really happen. And then here, that's the interesting one. If you combine E with N, then you will get the sound uh, 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 Okay, in your nose. Uh. All right, so let's see O now. If you combine O and E, you will get the sound wa 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 so make it repeat it like that you know wa 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 and then after that only one wa okay then if you combine it with u you will get the sound u so as i said previously the the, the difficulty one of the big difficulty for uh, english speaking uh, persons is this difference between the u here and the u here, u, u. Okay, so you will have the, the the time to to work on that, but still it's u in that case. If you combine it with n, then you will get the sound on. Same thing, nasal, so in your nose, on, on. All right. Let's see the the last one. So if you combine u and i, you get the sound ui, ui, ui. All right, so really, u. It's not u. Okay, so it's u, u, u. All right, and then well, basically it doesn't exist. This u o, and if you combine it with the n, then you get the sound un. So before we had the difference between this un here and this un here, but nowadays in France, at least, you don't make any difference between the two. Okay, so it's un here and un here. All right. So let's see them one more time. A, e, o, en, e, 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 en, i, un, o, oa, u, on. U, U, I, 1. 
Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Have a great day. Uh, if you want to find the next lesson, so it would be a leçon B, so unité 2, and it can be found there. And remember that we've got all, all already the unité 1 uh, on the channel, so it's possible to, to, to find it there. And then more material can be found in at this address, so imagier.net. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent, and this is Unité 2, Leçon B. So, we'll discover les chiffres in this lesson. I hope you're ready, because it's starting right now. Les chiffres. 0, 0, okay, so remember, you get this Z, and then E accent aigu, Z, Rho, okay? Then, 1, all right, so when you combine this U and N, you get the nasal sound 1, 1, 2, final X not pronounced, okay, 2, 3, final S not pronounced, 3, 4, 4, okay, so remember that even if you get this U, Vowel here, basically you don't pronounce it, because that's the rule in French. When we get this Q letter and then a vowel after, then we will we will have to put this U, okay? So you get this Q, U, A, but then the sound that you will pronounce is K, okay? Quatre, quatre, all right? And next, cinq, cinq, cinq. And be careful here, because even if it's ending with this X, well, you'll have to pronounce it like S, 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 s okay? So you get the CIS pronunciation, CIS, CIS, okay? So it's not SIX, it's CIS, all right? Then here, remember, P is not pronounced, okay? It doesn't exist, so you get this SET sound, SET, SET. Okay, then here final T is pronounced, so huit, huit. Remember in French this H letter here, okay, uh, doesn't exist phonetically, so we, we don't really pronounce it, okay, so if you listen carefully, you will only listen or hear these vowels at the beginning of the word, huit, huit, okay, and then neuf, 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 okay, that's it, it was a short one, but really, really important, okay, so if you're not sure about your pronunciation, don't be afraid to practice, uh, if you want to find the next lesson or the previous lessons, well, they are here, youtube.com slash imagier, and then more material can be found on the web page imagier.net, okay, bye-bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 2, Leçon C. Okay, so let's see what we'll discover in this lesson. And we'll discover a quite useful thing, because in Leçon B, if you remember carefully, uh, I did introduce the, the, the numbers uh, till uh, 9, and then we'll continue, so from 10 to 20. Okay, de 10 à 20. Okay, so let's start now. 10, okay, so remember, final X here is pronounced like S, 10, 10, okay, then 11, 11, okay, so O plus N give you the sound on, on, 11, 11, okay, final E doesn't exist phonetically, 11, okay, 12, 12, O, U, the two together will give you the sound, O, okay, and then Z, 12, 12, all right, then now if you combine this E and E, you get the sound E, really open, 13, 13, final E, as usual, not pronounced, 13, 13, okay, then here, 14, so remember, Q and U here, well, basically, you've got to put this U vowel, because that's the rule in French, even if you don't pronounce it, okay, so you will get the sound K here, K, 14, 
14. Okay? Same thing here. U is, doesn't exist, so 15. 15. 15. All right? I-N, nasal. So it's 1, 1, 15, 15. Okay? Then it continues, of course. Now you get this 16. 16. Same thing. Final E doesn't exist. 16. E uh, and E together, they give you the sound E, eh, E, eh, really open. Says, says, okay? Then it becomes <laughs> logical now, because if you look carefully, you've got this, this, okay? This, and then set. So if you remember this, it's here, it's 10, and then set, 7, okay? So it's clear. But then for the pronunciation, D set. Okay, so you don't insist on the s. D set, D set, D set. Okay, then D huit. So you will make this little link between the two, the liaison. D huit, D huit, D huit. Okay, then D neuf, D neuf, D neuf. Okay, E U E. 9, 9, 9, 19. And the last one. So this G letter is here, but you don't pronounce it. Okay? And then final T doesn't exist phonetically either. So basically, you will only need to pronounce these three letters. So you've got V, V, and then you've got nasal, I, N, 1, 20, 20, 20. Okay? I hope. Everything was clear. Uh, well, you can, <coughs> sorry, you can check for the next lesson on YouTube, and that's the place where you can go. And then the website is here as well. Okay, have a great day. Bye bye. Hi everyone, bonjour à tous, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité de Leçon D. So let's see what we'll discover together in this lesson. And we'll work on les adjectifs possessifs, so really useful. Um, well, in French, as usual, we will have the difference between masculine, masculine form. So, for the masculine form, we'll have mon, mon, ton, ton, son, son, notre, notre, votre, votre, leur, leur. Okay? So, let's be clear, you know, when we talk about les adjectifs possessifs, in English it will be my, your, uh, his, uh, our, your, their. Okay? But then in French, well, basically, we'll, we'll have the difference between the masculine, the feminine, and the plural. And then keep in mind, we'll see that a bit later uh, when I will give you some examples, that in French, we don't decide whether it's masculine, feminine, or plural according to the subject, like in English, because in English, you put whether the masculine or the feminine according to the subject, but we will, in French, put the masculine according to, or the feminine or the plural, according to the word it is connected to. Okay? So it's quite important to just remember that because uh, it will basically, it will be really important for the, the decision whether you put the masculine or the feminine or the plural form. Okay? So we saw first, now here, the masculine form. Let's check the feminine form. And it's ma, ta, Sa. Okay, so you can see it. Well, well, of course, differences, but then still, you know, it works like M, M, T, and then T, and S, S. Okay, so, well, mon, masculine, ma, feminine form, ton, masculine form, ta, feminine form, son, masculine form, sa, feminine form. And then the good news is that notre is the same. Votre is the same, and then leur is the same. Okay, so you don't really have a difference between these three persons. 
you will have to use the same adjective possessif. Okay, so the only difference is there. Mon, ton, son, ma, ta, sa. Okay, and now let's see the plural part here. Okay, so for the phonetical or pronunciation aspect of it, then remember that this es here combined will give you the sound a. Okay, so you'll pronounce it like me, me, me. Okay, te. So logical, same pronunciation here. Te. Se. All right, so me, te, se. Okay, and then for the plural, no, vo, and then leur. Okay, so remember, even if you've got this final S, you don't pronounce it, as it was the case already for this word, no, you don't pronounce the final S, vo, doesn't you don't pronounce it, leur. Okay, so if we see that one more time, it's me, te, se. And then no, vo, leur. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. So for the masculine, mon père. Okay, so père means father. Okay, so father is masculine. And so you will put mon père. So you will put here the masculine adjective possessive, my father, just because father is masculine. Okay, so the, the, the subject, the person who is actually talking about his father or her father, doesn't really uh, affect the fact that you use the masculine or the feminine here. You put the masculine because father is masculine. Okay, so vélo, bicycle, if you want to say my bicycle, you will say mon vélo. Okay, just because vélo is masculine. Un vélo and then mon vélo. All right, let's see now a few or two examples for the feminine. Uh, mother, mother is feminine. And then you will have ma mère. Ma mère, my mother, ma mère. Okay, here you get voiture. Voiture means car, a car. Okay, and it's feminine. So, une voiture. Same thing here. You will put the feminine form. Ma voiture. Ma voiture. Okay, and let's see now for the plural. So, parents, parents. Mes parents. Okay, because it's the plural form here. Okay, so you get the plural form here as well. Mes parents. Okay, and then amis, friends. Okay, it's the plural form, so it's mes amis. Okay, and then let's be purist and make the, this beautiful liaison between these two words. Mes amis, mes amis, mes amis. All right. So I hope it's clear. Because, of course, as usual in French, we've got some exceptions. And the exceptions are for the feminine words. Like identité, for instance. Identité, so it does mean identity. Okay. Um, if you look carefully, at this word, you can notice that it is starting with a vowel, so e in that case. Okay, and then for aesthetical reasons, we think that ma identité, so the way that normally you should uh, you should put uh, the feminine form, so ma identité doesn't sound nice. So for that reason, we put the masculine adjective possessive so remember with the words feminine words that start with a vowel like e here identité you will have to use les adjectifs possessifs masculin so the masculine form so it goes like mon identité mon identité so my identity mon identité mon identité okay another Example, adresse, so same thing here, adresse is a feminine word, but then it starts with a, okay? Same thing, you will have to use adjective possessif, masculin. Mon adresse, mon adresse, my address, mon adresse, 
mon adresse. Okay, you can hear now this little link, so you get to pronounce this N. Mon adresse, mon adresse. Okay, and the last one I, I took, same thing. Opposition, opposition. Well, basically feminine, but then it starts with the O. Mon opposition, mon opposition. You make this link. Huh? Mon opposition, mon opposition. So let's repeat it one more time. Mon identité, mon adresse, mon opposition. Okay. I hope everything was okay with you. Uh, so it was leçon D. Okay. So remember to check for the next lesson and the previous lessons there, here, and then you get, of course, more material at the following website, www.imagier.net. Okay, bye-bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent, and this is Unité de Leçon E. So let's see what we'll discover in this lesson, and we'll work on les pronoms toniques. So they're useful and Normally, we tend to introduce them quite fast in French because you will have to use them. Les pronoms toniques. So, if you remem remember, we saw les pronoms personnels. Les pronoms personnels like je, I, tu, you, etc., etc. Okay? But then in that case, when you want to use this pronom tonique, normally uh, you want to insist. Okay? And then you want to use this moi form. So, moi is me. So that's the main difference between moi, me, and then je, I. Because je, normally, you will use that to construct a sentence as a subject. Okay? Normally, this moi is not a subject, so it's not possible to put that right before a verb. It would be a mistake. Okay? Moi, so it's me. Moi. So remember, this O-E combination gives you the sound wa wa wa. Moi. Okay, and then you get toi, toi. For the masculine form, we get lui, lui, lui. Okay, and for the feminine form, we've got elle, elle. So you can notice that, well, basically for the masculine, it does change because uh, pronom personnel is il, okay, and in that case, pronom tonique is lui. All right, but then for the feminine form, it's the same, so it's L. Okay, and then good news, same thing for the plural, nous, vous. Okay, so they don't change. You get nous, and then you get vous, as for the pronoun personnel. And same thing here for the plural form, uh, third person of the plural. So the masculine form will change, and you get the sound. E, remember, final X not pronounced. E, E, and then plural L, L. Okay, so let's see them one more time. Moi, toi, lui, elle, nous, vous, E, L. Okay, so I did prepare a few examples. So the first one, moi. J'aime le tennis. Okay, so here you can see that you start the sentence with moi. Okay, so me. Okay, and then you have to put pronom personnel. Je. Okay, so in that case you take the e uh away because the verb is starting with a vowel. Okay, but then j'aime. So this j'aime form, I like, or then I love. Okay. Le tennis. Moi, j'aime le tennis. So basically, if you start with moi here, you want to insist on the fact that you really like uh, or you really love tennis. Okay, let's see the second example. Toi, tu préfères le golf. Okay, préférer, to prefer, obviously. Okay, toi, tu Préfère le golf. Toi, tu préfères le golf. Okay? And then here. So we've got here the masculine form. And here we've got the feminine form. So let's see the masculine form first. Lui, il 
adore le foot. Lui, il adore le foot. Ok So here, lui, pronom tonique, and then il, pronom personnel, adoré, to adore, le foot. We're talking about football here. Ok Elle, elle déteste, détester means to hate. Ok Le basket. And we're talking about basketball here. Basket. Ok Elle, elle déteste le basket. Okay, so even if you see them twice, I mean, you've got this L, L, okay, then remember that in that case, basically you want to insist, really, so you put first pronom tonique, it does look the same as pronom personnel here, but still, you get two different pronouns here, pronom tonique and then pronom personnel, L, L déteste le basket. Okay. Same thing here. Nous, nous aimons bien la boxe. Okay. So the difference between aimer here, like I love, okay, and aimer bien, normally when you put this bien after aimer, well, it's because you want to insist on the fact that you like, you don't love something, you like it. Okay. Nous, nous aimons bien la boxe. All right. Next example, vous, vous détestez la natation. Vous, vous détestez la natation. Natation is coming from nager, nager to swim. Ok, and then natation is the substantive form. Vous, vous détestez la natation. And then the two last examples. So first the masculine here. And then the feminine here. So let's see the masculine form. E, so if you remember, it was E, pronom tonique. Il préfère, so préféré to prefer, and then you can see that it's here, the plural form. Il préfère la marche. La marche is coming from the verb marcher, marcher to walk, okay? La marche. E, il préfère la marche. And then the feminine example. Elle, elles adorent le jogging. Elles, elles adorent le jogging. Ok? Let's read them one more time. Moi, j'aime le tennis. Toi, tu préfères le golf. Lui, il adore le foot. Elle, elle déteste le basket. Nous, nous aimons bien la boxe. Vous, vous détestez la natation. Eux, ils préfèrent la marche. Elles, elles adorent le jogging. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, remember that uh, I've been making uh, other lessons. So it was a leçon E, okay? So leçon F should be online. And at this address here, and then obviously uh, the lessons from the unit uh, 1 and unit 2, uh, they, they, they can be found here as well, okay, and then remember the website is here and you can find more material there, okay, have a great day, bye bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent, this is Unité de Leçon F, and in this lesson we'll work on the questions, so les questions, and especially the little words that you will have to use or to put at the beginning of your questions. And the first example that we can see is quand. Quand means when. Okay, so let's see two examples. So if you start a question with quand, like in the first example here, quand arrivez-vous? Okay, arriver is to arrive. Okay, so vous second person of the plural you can use that for a group of person or then you can use that for one person and that's the polite way to um, to use um, quand arrivez-vous and now you can see that we've been changing the order so normally of course the subject is before the verb okay but then the correct way to make a question if you start with this quand is to change the order. So first to put the verb, then you put this pronom personnel. Okay? Quand arrivez-vous? 
all right? And then the rule is like in French, you get to raise a little bit your voice at the end of a question. Of a question. Quand arrivez-vous? Quand arrivez-vous? Okay, Can make this little link between the two. Quand arrivez-vous? Quand arrivez-vous? All right. And then, well, when we talk, then we, we normally uh, have this option to, to drop this uh, rule. So not to use this rule. So just to put the first, the, the verb, and then the subject after. And uh, we tend to add this s -que form here. s -que, okay. So and you'll get this, this question. So quand est-ce que vous arrivez? It is exactly the same question, okay? It is quite long if you compare it to the first one. Uh, it is more spoken, okay? It is less formal, and that's normally what you'll hear if you talk with French people. Quand est-ce que vous arrivez? Quand est-ce que vous arrivez? Okay, and then here you see that because you've been using this esque form, then you keep the normal order. So first the subject vous and then the verb okay quand est-ce que vous arrivez all right and then don't be afraid to raise your voice a little bit at the end quand est-ce que vous arrivez quand est-ce que vous arrivez you see so it's not really the opera you you, you don't need to, to to go really high you know but it's just a little bit quand est-ce que vous arrivez that's it and the next one is où où means where where Okay, so, quand, when, remember, où, where. Two examples. Same rule, okay, so the formal or the classic way if you want to ask a question with où would be to change the order, so first the verb, then the subject here. Où habitez-vous? Où habitez-vous? Where do you live? Habiter is to live. So you live like if you're talking about the place where you are living, okay? Où habitez-vous? Où habitez-vous? And then same possibility, you just add this est-ce and then you keep the normal order of the sentence, so subject and verb. Où est-ce que vous habitez? Où est-ce que vous habitez? All right. Next. Pourquoi? Pourquoi is really useful because it's why. Okay, so remember, quand, when, où, where, pourquoi, why. Same thing here, okay, pourquoi, you should change the order, okay, so first the verb and then the subject, that's the correct or formal or classic way of asking a question. Pourquoi venez-vous? Venir is to come, so why do you come? Pourquoi venez-vous? Pourquoi venez-vous? Alright, same rule here, if you want to add this s -que, then you just keep the, you just keep the, the, the classic order like subject and verb. Pourquoi est-ce que vous venez? Pourquoi est-ce que vous venez? Okay. And then, comment, comment is how? How? Comment venez-vous? How do you come? Comment venez-vous? Comment venez-vous? Comment est-ce que vous venez? Comment est-ce que vous venez? And then the last one. Combien, how much, how many, so in French we use this combien, how much, or how many. Combien de sucre, sucre means sugar, and then voulez-vous, okay, vouloir, to want, okay, so how many sugar do you want. Combien de sucre voulez-vous, combien de sucre voulez-vous, combien de sucre voulez-vous. And then same thing here, just add this s -que. Combien de sucre est-ce que vous voulez? Combien de sucre est-ce que vous voulez? All right. So, that's it for now. It was leçon F. Remember that leçon G uh, is online and it's right here. Okay. And then you can find more material at the following address. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent, and this is Unité de Leçon G. And in this lesson, we'll discover together le verbe faire, so the verb to do, 
Okay, so faire, faire is uh, really useful because we tend to use it uh, quite much in French. Okay, so it's, well, usually quite important to discover this verb at the right beginning. So the verb faire. Je fais. Je fais. Remember final S not pronounced. Je fais. Tu fais. Same rule here. Final S not pronounced. Tu fais. Fait. Il, masculin, and then elle, féminin, fait. Final T, not pronounced. Il, elle, fait. So if we take one second, actually you can see that here, here, and here, you get the same phonetical form, so the same form that you will pronounce. Okay, so you get je fais, tu fais, il fait, and then elle fait. It's the same. Okay? Then, nous, so it's quite strange because French people tend to pronounce faisons, okay? So like here, this A-E is not pronounced like normally we should pronounce it like E, but then like E, okay? Nous faisons, nous faisons, okay? And then this one is a bit tricky so you will have to remember that and it's quite funny because many French people tend to make the mistake and tend to to say vous faisiez okay uh, but then no 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 <laughs> it's vous faites vous faites okay so remember final s here is not pronounced and then this e uh, is not pronounced either so fait fait vous and il, plural, font, final T not pronounced, font, font, elle, font. Okay, so I will repeat the whole thing one more time. Je fais, tu fais, il fait, elle fait, nous faisons, vous faites, ils font, elles font. Okay, so try to remember this one because it is, as I said, really useful and we use it a lot in French. Okay, it was Leçon G, so you can find the Leçon H uh, on YouTube and it's the following address here. And of course you can find all the previous lessons there as well. Okay, and then more material can be found here at this website. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité de Leçon H. And in this lesson, we'll discover la forme négative. So if you want to say that you are not blah blah blah, doing something, or so the negative form in French. And so the negative form in French is composed of two elements. The first one is ne, and then you get your verb, and right after your verb, you will have to put this pas. Okay, so first, ne, then the verb, and after that, pas. Okay, we write it P-A-S, okay, but as usual, final S is not pronounced, so it's pas. Okay, remember one thing, in some cases, we will have verbs starting whether with a vowel, or then with H, 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 plus a vowel, and in French, H is not pronounced, okay, so for these verbs, E uh, will have to disappear, and it will be written like that, N, okay, then will come the verb, and after that, doesn't change, it will be pas. alright, so let's see a few examples now, so for N, pas, so if you get a sentence like, il, parle avec moi so il parle he is talking avec with moi me okay remember this moi uh, we introduced that uh, in this unit and it was a pronoun tonique okay il parle avec moi so if you want to put the negative form of this sentence so remember first part ne so before the verb then you put your verb, parle, basically you don't change it, just put it there, parle, and after that you put the second part, pas, okay, then you get the sentence, il ne parle pas 
avec moi. And that's it. You've got your negative sentence here. Okay? Let's see now how it will go with an apostrophe pas. Okay? So, nous allons en France. Okay? So, in that case, if you look, you've got the verb aller. Aller means to go. Okay? Nous allons. Nous allons. We are going. Okay? En France, to France. Here, first letter is A. Okay? Remember the rule. If it's not with a vowel like here, it is the case, you will have to drop and take away this E form. So that's the reason why we've got this N apostrophe like that. Nallons. Nous nallons. And then you don't really need to think. You just put this pas after the verb en France. Nous n'allons pas en France. Nous n'allons pas en France. And that's it. Okay, second example here. It's with the verb habiter. Habiter is to live. You know, when you, you introduce the place where you, where you live. Okay, and then here I took this example or this verb just because, of course, it's starting with H, but as I said, you don't pronounce it. So the first sound you hear here is the vowel. And that's enough just to drop and to take away this E. Uh. So you will basically make it like in this example. You will put this N apostrophe. Elle n'habite pas dans cette maison. So, elle habite, she lives or she is living, dans, in, this house. Elle habite dans cette maison, and then neg negative form. Elle n'habite pas dans cette maison. I hope it was clear. It was short, but really important. Uh, so it was uh, unité de leçon H. You can find leçon I at the following address here. Okay. And then the website is here. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous. Hi, everyone. And welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is unité de leçon I. Okay. And in this lesson, we'll work on les adjectifs démonstratifs. So, let's adjective demonstrative in English, it would be this or these, okay? But then, as usual in French, we've got the difference between the masculine, the feminine, and the plural, okay? So, we'll see that. So, for the masculine form, it will be ce, ce, and then it will be set, set, okay? So, as Usual in French, remember, it can be tricky if a letter, uh, sorry, uh, um, an adjective like that, for instance, is ending, or it could be an article, is ending with a, okay, just because for some words starting with a vowel or with ash plus a vowel, then we will have to modify it, okay, and that's the reason why here we've got set, okay, but then it's still the masculine form. Se, set. For the feminine, it will be set. So only one. Set. And then for the plural form, it will be se. Okay, so let's see that again. Se, or then set. Féminin, set. So you can notice that phonetically, these two are pronounced the same way. Okay, set here, and then set here. And for the plural, se, se. Really open this a eh, a eh, se. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. The first one, so I did take this train. Train is train, okay, so it's masculine. So it starts with t, so no problem. You will put this ce train. Ce train, okay, it would be translated like this train. Ce train. Okay, here you've got ordinateur. So ordinateur, a computer. Okay, and it's masculine, un ordinateur, okay, but if you, if you look carefully, it starts with O, okay, so vowel, and then you will have to take this set form, so the masculine form, but the one that will use with the words that start with vowels, or then H plus voyelle, okay, so set ordinateur, this computer, set ordinateur. Okay, and then here we've got the word 
homme, man, okay? But then it starts with H, as in French, H is not pronounced, so the first sound that we hear is O, okay? And then it will follow the same rule. You'll have to use the masculine adjective demonstrative, but this form, cet homme, cet homme, all right? Femme, woman, cette femme, this woman, cette femme, cette femme, okay? And then the last one, personne, persons, pluriel, ces personnes, ces personnes, okay? So let's repeat them one more time. Ce train, cet ordinateur, cet homme, cette femme, ces personnes. All right, I hope it was clear. Uh, so, it was a uh, unité de leçon I. You can find leçon J, of course, and all the previous lessons at the following address here. Okay, and then everything and more can be found there at this imagier.net address. Okay, have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is unité de leçon I. G. So let's see what we'll discover in this lesson. And we'll work on the, the way to conjugate uh, les verbes réguliers, so the regular verbs of the first group. Okay, and then with a R. So let's start now. So let's take an example. The example is parler. Parler is to speak or to talk. Okay, and then if you have a look at it like that, you can basically divide this verb in two parts. The first part, parle, and then second part, a R. So it does mean that this verb, ending with er, er, is belonging to the first group of verbs. In French, we've got three groups, okay? The two first are uh, regular, and the last one, the third one, is uh, irregular. So, this is one verb ending with er, er. It does mean that it belongs to the, the first group, and it won't be tricky or so difficult to conjugate. So, we'll see together how to conjugate this verb. The first person like je here, so you will put this parle again, so remember, and after that you just put the ending e. Uh. And then the way to pronounce it is je parle, parle. So remember we put it, okay, but then we don't really pronounce it, je parle, okay. Then for tu, you will have to put es, okay, phonetically Tu parles. So you've got the two first forms, you pronounce them the same way. You write them differently, of course, because you've got a uh, here, and then you've got a uh, and s, okay? But then phonetically, they are the same. Je parle, tu parles, okay? So let's see what you'll get for il and elle. And well, as you see, you've got il parle, elle parle. So it's the same form here. So if you really want to only only speak and only use orally the, the, the language, well, it's, it's quite easy to conjugate these verbs. Je parle, tu parles, il parle, elle parle. Okay? For nous, okay, we'll have, well, let's say the classical ending for nous, and it will be O-N-S. Classical because you, you will see that with the other groups as well, it's quite common to have this O-N-S for Nous, okay? Nous parlons, okay? Remember, final S is not pronounced, okay? And then this O and together, they will give you the sound on, on, okay? Nous parlons, nous parlons, all right? Let's see now for vous, vous parlez, okay? Remember, a Z, when you combine them together, you get the sound E, vous parlez, all right? And the last one? So even if you've got this e n t, <laughs> don't hate me, but you won't pronounce these letters. Okay, you have to write them for the plural form, but you don't pronounce them. So you get il parle, elle parle. So the good news is that you've got here je parle, tu parles, il elle parle, and then if you check it here, il elle parle. So it's the same. Phonetical pronunciation or phonetical form, sorry. Okay? And then you get nous parlons and then vous parlez. Alright? So here, remember, 
the endings, you will have to write them, okay? All right, so we'll take another example. Regarder is to watch, okay? So you can see that the verb is ending with a air, okay? So you take it, you just take this a air away and then you keep this radical form, like we say in, in French, only this form, okay? So you will get je regarde, tu regardes, il regarde. Elle regarde, nous regardons, vous regardez, il regarde, elle regarde. Okay, so one more time here. Regarde, 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 and then regarde. So phonetically, only one form here. And then regardons, regardez. All right? Remember that even if this beautiful verb aller that we tend to use quite often because it means to go, okay, even if it ends with er, it is not regular at all, okay. So it is the exception ending with er, but it is not regular. We'll have the chance to see the way to conjugate it, but then for now. That's it. I hope it was clear. Okay. Remember that it was a leçon J, so the next lesson can be found there and then the previous lessons as well. And then more material on the website. Okay. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous. Hi everyone. And welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité de Leçon K. And in this lesson, we will count together, yeah, so from 20 uh, to 50, de 20 à 50. I hope you're ready because it's starting right now. 20, 21, okay, so remember to make this little link, 21, 21, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26, so remember it's ending with X, but then we pronounce it S, 26, 27, remember set, it was this P disappear, you don't pronounce it. 27, 28, so here you make the, the liaison. 28, 28, 29, 29, 29. Then here, remember this EN, 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 30. 30, 30, okay, don't insist on the, uh, it doesn't exist here, 30, 31, 31, 31, 32, 32, 33, 33, remember final S doesn't exist, 33, 34, 34, 34, remember in French the rule is that you, if you start with, well, if you get this combination Q, U, A, well, you will pronounce it K, K, same thing for the other vowels, okay, so because that's the rule, after Q, normally we put U and then an another vowel, but then this U, well, basically it's not pronounced, okay, so K, 4, 34, 35, 35, 36, 36, 37, 37, 38, 38, 39, 39, 40. Okay, so same rule as previously, as for 4, okay? 40, 
40. Ok 41. 41. 42. 42. 42. 43. 43. 44. 44. 45. 45. 46. 46. 47. 47. 48. 48. 49 49 50 50 Same thing here. Okay, remember that you've got this Q, U, but then you don't pronounce the U. And then you've got the nasal. 1 and then en. 50 50 Okay? So that's it. It was leçon K. So don't be afraid and be brave and continue your French <laughs> learning. So the next lesson is available there. And then the website is here if you want more material. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous. Hi, everyone. And welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité de Leçon L. And in this lesson, we will discover together le verbe venir. Venir means to come. Okay, to come, so it's quite useful. And then you will have to use it uh, quite often in French. So let's see how you conjugate this verb at the present form. Okay, because this verb is not regular. Just wanted to tell you first, okay. So the first form is je viens. Je viens. Okay, remember this i, 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 viens, viens. And then this nasal. Final S not pronounced. Je viens. Tu viens. So it's the same form, okay? Tu viens. Il, elle, vient. Final T not pronounced. Il vient. Elle vient. So if we take one second just to have a look at the je, tu, il, elle forms, they are phonetically the same. Viens, viens, viens. Okay, you write the S, S, T, but then you pronounce these forms the same way. Okay, for nous it will be different because nous is here. Nous venons. Okay, O, N, S, classical ending for nous. Okay, final S not pronounced, so O, N, on, venons, venons. Nous venons. Nous venons. Okay, and then vous venez. Remember a Z combined like that? E venez, venez. Vous venez. Okay, and then the last form. So remember here, it's quite interesting because we've got this E vowel here, and then we've got a double N after. Okay, and the rule in French is that when you get this E and a double vowel after, you will have to pronounce this E like E. A, all right. So, V N V N V N V N. Okay. Il vient. Elle vient. Il vient. Elle vient. All right. E N T. You don't pronounce them. Il vient. Elle vient. All right. So, je viens. Tu viens. Il vient, elle vient, nous venons, vous venez, ils viennent, elles viennent. All right? So it's quite important, so don't be afraid to watch this video one more time if it's not clear. And then it was leçon L. The next lesson can be found at this address. And then the website is here, imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité de Leçon M. And in this lesson, we'll work on vocabulary and then the, the vocabulary connected to uh, la famille. So, so the, the, the family, la famille. And then we'll start with uh, the grandparents. Les grands-parents. Les grands-parents. Remember, you 
don't pronounce this final S here. Grand-parent, okay. So, le grand-père, grandfather, le grand-père, remember, e accent grave like that, it's uh, this open e, uh, pe, pe, le grand-père, le grand-père. And then the feminine form, grandmother, la grand-mère, la grand-mère. Okay, so, les grands-parents, le grand-père, la grand-mère. Okay, so, let's see now the parents. Les parents, les parents, le père, the father, le père, la mère, the mother, la mère. Okay, so, les parents, the parents, le père, la mère. All right? So, till now, I think that it's not really, really difficult to remember. Okay? Let's see now. Les enfants. Okay? So, first, I don't make the liaison. Les enfants. Just for you to see that we've got this en, and then we've got this en as well. Same pronunciation here. Enfant. Don't pronounce the T. Don't, you don't pronounce the S. Enfant. Okay, and now we can focus on the liaison here. So you should make the little link. Les enfants. Les enfants. Okay, enfants, children. Les enfants, the children. So let's see. Uh, it will be the masculine form, so the son. Okay, so it's le, and then even if it, you've got this L, well, basically you don't pronounce it, and then strangely you pronounce the final S. Le fils. Le fils, le fils, le fils. And then the feminine form, the daughter, la fille. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this L, L here and E will give you the sound Y, la fille, la fille. Okay, so make the difference between the masculine form, le fils, and then the feminine form, la fille. Okay, so les enfants, le fils. La fille. Okay? And then the grandchildren, but then in French we use the petit, petit is like small, okay? So, les petits enfants, make this liaison here, petits ans, petits ans, okay? Les petits enfants, les petits enfants, so grandson would be in French, petit fils, okay? So, le petit fils, le petit fils, and then the feminine form, la petite t -t. So <laughs> I insist because here it's t t. Okay, so really you need to make the difference between the masculine form petit and then the feminine form petite t. Okay, so la petite fille, la petite fille. So let's repeat them. Les petits enfants. Le petit-fils, la petite-fille. Okay? And then, when you're talking about your uh, in-law uh, family, well, in, in French, we use this beau and belle. So, uh, it's beautiful. Okay? So, the beautiful family, you're talking about your in-laws. Okay? So, la belle famille. La belle famille. Remember, I -l -i -l -l -e -i -i. La belle famille. Okay? So, uh, père, okay, father. So, father in law, okay, in French it's le beau père. The beautiful father. <laughs> le beau père. So, remember this E, A, U combination of vowels only give you the sound. Beau, 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 okay? Le beau-père. Mother-in-law, la belle-mère, la belle-mère, la belle-mère, okay? So let's see them one more time. La belle-famille, le beau-père, la belle-mère, all right? And then brother-in-law, le beau-frère, le beau-frère, le beau frère, so frère is brother, okay, and then feminine form, here you get 
sœur. Okay? So sister-in-law, la belle. So we put the belle form here because it's the feminine form. Sœur, la belle sœur, la belle sœur. That's it for the family. It was leçon M, okay? So be careful and then uh, you can uh, find the next lesson uh, there. Hopla, that's the website or that's the, 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 the channel on YouTube where you can find the lessons, okay? And then this is the website where you can find more material. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité de Leçon N. And in this lesson we'll discover the questions uh, in which you will find qui, que, or then quoi. Okay, so let's discover now qui, okay, qui means who. Okay, so if you want to ask a question regarding someone, like in these two examples, so the first one, who is he, qui Et il. Okay, so remember the formal, the normal way when we start a question with qui or then as we saw in the previous previous lessons. Okay, you will have to change the order and to put your subject il, he, here, after the verb. Qui est il? And then you make the liaison. Qui est-il? Who is he? Qui est-il? Qui est-il? Or then, let's see. A little example here. Qui vient? Vient is venir. Uh, vient is venir. Yeah, is to come. Sorry. <laughs> so, qui vient? Who is coming? Avec toi? With you? Ce soir? This evening? Qui vient? Avec toi? Ce soir? So he's coming with you this evening. Qui vient? Avec toi? Ce soir? Okay. Um, if you Pronounce them normally. Remember that you will have to raise your voice a little bit at the end of the question. So let's pronounce them the normal way. Qui est-il? Qui vient avec toi ce soir? Qui vient avec toi ce soir? Okay. Second one is que. So qui, who, que, what. What. Okay. And then we'll see two examples here. Que fais-tu? Okay, face coming from faire, faire means to do, okay, que fais-tu, so what are you doing, what do you do, okay, que fais-tu, same thing here, remember, que, so you, you start a question with que, then you get to change the order, you get to put the subject after the verb, okay, que fais-tu, and it's a question, que fais-tu, que fais-tu, okay, and here, Que veux-tu? So, veux is coming from vouloir, vouloir, to want. Que veux-tu? What do you want? Okay, que veux-tu? Regarder, regarder is to watch. À la télévision. Well, at the television. Que veux-tu? Regarder à la télévision. So, let's read it normally now. Que veux-tu? Regarder à la télévision. Que veux-tu? Regarder à la télévision. Okay, so you can hear that I've been raising a little bit my voice at the end. And then the other option is quoi. So quoi means what as well. So you will tell me, oh, you get two what here. You get que and quoi. Yeah, for a good reason. Look at that. Well, tu fais quoi. So uh, I've been just taking the same question as we had here, this Que fais-tu? What do you do? What are you doing? Okay, but then if you're using this quoi, then it does mean that you don't start the question with it. You just put it here, for example, at the end. Okay, tu fais quoi? It is exactly the same meaning as this question. Okay, but then you can see that you just keep the normal order of the sentence subject verb okay in that case you definitely need to raise your voice at the end okay tu fais quoi tu fais quoi and then i took the same example as we had here okay tu veux regarder quoi à la télévision okay so let's raise the voice at the end to make it clear that it's a question 
Tu veux regarder quoi à la télévision Tu veux regarder quoi à la télévision Ok, so let's repeat. Qui, who, qui est-il Qui vient avec toi ce soir Que, what But you start the question with it. Que fais-tu Que veux-tu regarder à la télévision And then quoi, you don't start the question, and it, mean, and it means what. Tu fais quoi Tu veux regarder quoi à la télévision That's it. Ok, it was leçon N. Remember that the next lesson can be found on YouTube at the following address. Ok, and then more material on the website. Have a great day. Au revoir. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is unité de leçon Oh, and in this lesson, we'll just focus on the short thing, but quite useful, les présentations. Okay, so the first thing, when you meet someone and you want to know the name of this person, well, that's the common question or the normal question that you will have to use. Comment, so how, vous appelez-vous? Okay, we've been seeing uh, in unit one, if my memory is correct, the verb s'appeler, so to call oneself, okay, when you introduce yourself, you use this uh, s'appeler verb, okay, so that's the reason why it will look this way. Comment vous appelez-vous, okay, so comment vous appelez-vous, so what's your name, how are you calling yourself, if you want a, a direct translation, but it's, it sounds a bit strange in English, but then that's the question. Comment vous appelez-vous? Alright. The other possibility that we've got is to keep the normal order. So, vous vous appelez. And then we put this comment thing at the end of the question. Okay. So, in that case, remember to raise your voice at the end. Vous vous appelez comment? Vous vous appelez comment? Okay. So, it is exactly the same question okay it is a bit less formal this second option okay because the first one is the classic option that we've got we start with how and then we change the order we put the subject after the verb okay but then it is more, i mean completely correct to, to to ask a question like that vous vous appelez comment okay and then the other possibility would be quel est votre nom what is your votre Nom, name. What is your name? Quel est votre nom? Quel est votre nom? Raise a little bit. Quel est votre nom? Okay, so let's see them one more time. Comment vous appelez-vous? Vous vous appelez comment? Quel est votre nom? All right. Uh, in the first example, we've been using this vous form, so the polite form that normally we should use when we meet a person for the first time, okay? But then let's uh, let's be frank, that if you're young and uh, if you're meeting other uh, young persons, then you can use this uh, to form, uh, so the less formal way, okay? So the question will look like that. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Okay, well then, same option that we've got. Tu t'appelles comment? So you put this comment at the end. Okay, don't forget to raise your voice because it's a beautiful question here. Tu t'appelles comment? Tu t'appelles comment? And then, quel est ton nom? What is your name? Quel est ton nom? Or other options. So I've been putting this, this option for this uh, tu. Okay, you, the less formal one, and not for for the vous because uh, it is it is quite spoken this uh, this this way. C'est quoi ton nom? Well, if you want to translate it directly, it's what your name. Okay, it looks really or it sounds really strange in English, but still it's possible in French. Uh, it is it is not formal at all, of course. Okay, so uh, don't use that uh, if it's quite important or if uh, the situation is quite formal. Okay. C'est quoi ton nom? C'est quoi ton nom? Okay, and then if you want to, well, present yourself, then remember we're using this appeler, s'appeler, okay, to call oneself, okay. Je m'appelle, je m'appelle Vincent Lefrançois. Je m'appelle Vincent Lefrançois. Okay, I call myself Vincent Lefrançois. 
all right? But then that's the, the, the way we use to present ourselves, okay? Other option would be to use, not to use this sapley to call oneself, but to use to be, which is totally possible. Je suis Vincent Lefrançois. Je suis Vincent Lefrançois. I am, okay? Je suis Vincent Lefrançois. And then, a third option, mon nom, my name, okay? Mon nom est, is, mon nom est Vincent Lefrançois. Mon nom est Vincent Lefrançois. Okay, so let's see them one more time. Je m'appelle Vincent Lefrançois. Je suis Vincent Lefrançois. Mon nom est Vincent Lefrançois. Okay, so now you can present yourself or ask the name of someone. It was leçon O. You can find the next lesson at the following address, youtube.com slash imagier, or then the website is here. You can find more material. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bonjour à tous. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité de Leçon P. And in this lesson, we'll discover... Uh, la situation de famille. So if you want to say what is your uh, situation, your personal situation, then that's the correct lesson to watch now. Let's start. Je suis célibataire. So I know that many of you will laugh when they will see this uh, beautiful célibataire word. It doesn't have any uh, other indication but the fact that you are single. Okay, so if you want to say that you are single, whether it's uh, the masculine form or the feminine form, it will be like that. Je suis célibataire. I am single. Okay, second option. J'ai un copain. Okay, boyfriend. Boyfriend would be copain. Okay, and then it's the feminine form here. Girlfriend, copine. J'ai, so j'ai, I have. Okay, j'ai un copain. I have a, boy, a boyfriend. J'ai un copain. Féminin, j'ai une copine. I have a girlfriend. J'ai une copine. Okay? So if you're in, in couple, en couple, je suis, I am, je suis en couple. Je suis en couple. So here you want to indicate that you are living with someone, but then you are not married. Okay? Je suis en couple. You can make the liaison here. Je suis en couple. Okay? And then, fiancé, engaged. All right? And then, here you've got the masculine form. I've been putting here the feminine form. All right? Uh, so, you will have to add this uh, at the end of fiancé. But then, you don't pronounce it phonetically. Whether it's masculine or feminine, it will still be fiancé. Okay, so if a man is uh, talking, he, he will say, je suis fiancé. If a woman is speaking, she will say, je suis fiancé. Okay, so phonetically, it will sound exactly the same, but if they write that, they will have to write a, only one a here with the accent. Okay, and then for the masculine form, sorry, and then for the lady, she will have to put this a uh, at the end. All right. So, marié is uh, married. Je suis marié. Okay, so the same rule as for fiancé. Marié, so just like that, if it's the masculine form, okay, with e uh, at the end, if it's the feminine form, but still, it will be pronounced the same way. Je suis marié. Divorcé, well, it looks the same and it's divorced, okay? Je suis divorcé, same rule. Final E uh, if it's feminine, but you don't pronounce it. Je suis divorcé. And the last one, widow, so masculine form and feminine form. Je suis veuf, veuf, so remember to pronounce the final F, veuf. And then the feminine form, je suis veuve, veuve, veuve. Okay, so let's repeat them one more time. Je suis célibataire, j'ai un copain, j'ai une copine, je suis en couple, je suis fiancé, 
Je suis marié, je suis divorcé, je suis veuf, je suis veuve. Ok, so now you can present your family situation. Ok, it was leçon P, so you can find the next lesson and the previous lessons at the following address here. And then we've got the website here, imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité de Leçon Q. And in this lesson, we'll see how to conjugate the verbs ending with ER. So not all the ER verbs are belonging to the second group, but some of them. And then we'll see how to conjugate them at the present form. Okay, so we'll take an example. The example is finir. So finir means to finish. Okay, and then you can see that it's ending with ER, all right? So we'll do it like that. We'll divide it in two, so F-E-N, and then we take away this ER ending, all right? And we'll just keep this form here, F-E-N, to construct the present. So you take it and you put it here, and after that you will add this ending. So for JE it will be I-S. Je finis. Remember, final S is not pronounced. Je finis. Okay. Tu finis. So, I-S as well, like we had for je. So, same way to pronounce it as well. You don't pronounce the final S. Tu finis. Il, elle, finit. So, I-T. Final T, not pronounced. Il, Elle finit. So, je finis, tu finis, il finit. Phonetically, it's exactly the same form for these persons. Okay? So, it's quite good if you want only to talk and not to write. So, just focus on this fini form. You know that it's for je, tu, and il, elle. Okay? But then for nous, so have a look. Nous finissons. Okay? I s s o N S Ils sont Nous finissons Finissons Ok, final S not pronounced Nous finissons Vous finissez Vous finissez Ok, a Z at the end Gives you the, the sound E Ok, finissez Finissez Vous finissez Ils finissent so remember, as usual, when we get the verbs E and T not pronounced, il finis, elle finis. All right. So let's see them one more time. Je finis, tu finis, il finit, elle finit, nous finissons, vous finissez, ils finissent, elle finit. All right. Let's take another example. Unir to unite. Okay, same rule, we just keep this UN and then you spot the ending, you take it away and you will keep the UN to construct, so j'unis, same way, tu unis, il unis, elle unis, nous unissons, vous unissez, ils unissent, elles unissent. Okay, so it's the same, exactly the same, so... Same group, same way to uh, conjugate it, okay? Let's take choisir, third example. You spot it, ending with ER here. Choisir means to, ch to choose, okay? Then, same way. Je choisis, tu choisis, il choisit, elle choisit, nous choisissons, vous choisissez, ils choisissent, elles choisissent. Okay, that's it. So these verbs from the second group at the present form are not really difficult to conjugate. You just keep or you just need to remember the, the, the endings. Okay, so it was leçon Q and I'm not sure but I think it is the last lesson of unité 2. Okay, so if everything is clear for you then you can go to unité 3. Okay, uh, they can be found here. 
okay image your channel on youtube and then the website is here okay have a great day bye bye